adventures of Jungle Jim. The Adventures of Jungle Jim are dramatized for radio from the full-color comic supplement that comes to you each week with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Jungle Jim and his boy Kolu are aboard Lee Wong's steamship, the Manchu, bound for the coast of Borneo. Jim believes that is the headquarters of that notorious pirate known as the Ghost of the Java Seas, whom Jungle Jim is trying to capture in order to prevent him from ruining Lee Wong's shipping business. Jungle Jim is convinced that the ghost is none other than Harvey Brandt, but so far has been unable to obtain the proof he needs. Harvey Brandt has wired orders in code to his partner and henchman, Alf Smithers, in Borneo, to the effect that he should sink the man to, sparing no lives in doing so. Brandt radio Smithers, ordering him to prepare the fleet for action, this fleet being used for the express purpose of plundering unwary ships that sail the Java Sea. As our scene opens... We find Jim and his boy Kolu in Jim's cabin aboard the steamship Manchu. Almost ready, Kolu? Yes, Tuan. Everything nearly packed. Pretty soon all finished. Kolu clean guns. Soon have much use for them, I think. We'll be one up on the ghost when this map is finished. By the way, you better run up and fetch the captain, Kolu. I'll have to go over this chart with him. He may not like the change in plans. When Tuan change plans, him have good idea. What for? Yes, but even so, I... Come in. Oh, hello, Captain. I was just coming up to have a talk with you. I only stopped in to tell you we're due for a bit of weather, Mr. Bradley. She's blowing up now, and the glass is still falling. We'll be well into the Java Seas along about eight bells. Okay, Captain. And now while you're here, I want to go over this chart with you. Uh, what chart is that, Mr. Bradley? I'll explain it to you. Captain, I'm convinced that the ghost is operating from a base on the Borneo coast. Oh, well, that seems likely. It was off the Borneo coast that Dutch Crowns' ships were scuttled. And I'll tell you something else. I've got a strong hunch that the ghost men are watching for this ship with orders to sink it. We're lucky that Sparks Matley recognized Smith. Or they would have succeeded in their last attempt. Yeah, they'll never give up. Harvey Brandt is in this thing too deep now to quit. He won't even stop at wholesale murder. I never liked Brandt's looks myself. And when I think of what he did to Lee Wong, to Dutch Crowns, what he tried to do to all of them. He's done plenty, Captain. And maybe it's our turn now. I believe that Mr. Brandt is due for a little surprise. Well, just what do you figure on doing, Mr. Bradley? Well, Brandt is chiefly interested at the moment in getting me. That's right, isn't it, Captain? It certainly looks that way. Well, he'll be expecting me to be on board this ship when we're near the coast of Borneo. But we're going to fool him, Captain. We're not going to follow the shipping lane. And Colo and I are going to leave this ship in a dory. Well, I don't think I... Look here. Look at this chart. What you want me to do is to pull out of the shipping lane and run along the Java coast, is that it? Exactly, Captain. That means we won't be where Brandt or the ghost will be looking for us. But that isn't going to get you to the southwest coast of Borneo, Mr. Bradley. And the way I've got it worked out, it will eventually. But the point is that it won't get us there when the ghost expects us. With all respect to you, Mr. Bradley, I don't like the idea of changing the course of the Manchu when there's a storm coming up that might turn into a typhoon. Once we get off the shipping lane, there's no telling what else might happen. After all, if we have to face Brandt's outfit, if we've got guns and ammunition, but a storm off the shipping lane, well, that's mighty bad business. Hold it, Captain. There's someone listening at the door. Hold it, aren't you? Who was it? Where'd he go? I didn't see. He turned that corner, but Tell I... Will Kolu find out, Tuan? Go to it, Kolu, and be careful. Yes, Tuan. I don't know who it could have been. Matley is in the radio room and the others are in irons. It doesn't seem as though Matley would try to double-cross us. Not after what Brandt tried to do to him. Well, you never can tell how that type of mentality works. Well, Colo will soon find out. Meanwhile, let's take another look at this chart. Now, you see where I've marked that first X? Yes. Well, at that point, you're going to drop Colo and me over the side in a motor dory. We'll run north in the dory, dodge the pirate blockade... Oh, if and... you're lucky. Yeah, that's right. And if our luck holds, we'll end on the Borneo coast. This dotted line is my proposed route. We'll leave the ship here about 110 degrees west and five south. That's off of Samarang's, off the Java coast. That's right. And Colo and I double back across the shipping lane to where I've marked the second X. Well, that's just about above Bunger, Madden. That's our landing point, right on the coast of Borneo. Well, I've got all the faith in the world in you, Mr. Bradley. And even if I didn't have, Lee Wong told me that I was to take my orders from you, that what you said went. But just the same, I don't like the idea of running an excursion up and down the Java coast in a typhoon. I'm not so fond of it myself, Captain. Unfortunately, however, it seems to be the only logical way to keep the Manchu from going to the bottom with all hands. I still don't like it. You and Kolu bucking a typhoon in a dory? 
It's mighty risky business. But if we do get away with it, if Colo and I can land on the Borneo coast without the ghost being any the wiser, we'll be able to force him to show his hand. And then when he makes his next move, we'll be ready for him. <laughs> As Jim and the captain discuss their plan, the door to the radio room is thrown open violently. Baroni and Meekers jump to their feet in alarmed surprise as Matley makes a breathless entrance, slamming the door behind him. Hey, what's the big idea? Don't ask questions. Anybody see you two guys come in here? Not with that storm coming up, they didn't. It's blacker than the inside of a cow. Yeah, it's, it's lucky for me that it is. Mr. Jungle Jim just took a pot shot at me. How come? Oh, I was listening at his door. He and the captain were working out the sweetest plan you ever heard in your life. Yeah. What are they going to do? They're going to change the Manchu's course, take us off the shipping lane. Mm -hmm. Then, when they get where they want to get, Bradley and Kolu go over the side in the motor dory. And get this, the door's going to be ready and waiting for them, loaded with food and supplies. What does that mean? It means we've got to beat them to it. I don't get you. i got a hold of three guns. Got them in here, in this drawer. Uh, here, Baroni, take this. And this is for you, Makers. Ah, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Is that all the shells you got? We can get more later if we need them. Yeah, we'll need them all right. Now, listen. Here's the layout. When Jim Bradley and Kolo... Oh, keep talking, Matley. That Hindu of Bradley's is right outside of the ventilator. Don't look, you fool. When keep talking. When Bradley and Kolo get You're ready to... You'll the door, Baroni. Go to it. Now, uh, leave the ship... Now, Baroni, and... now! Get him. Get him. Grab him. I got him. And drag him in here, quick. Come on, man. Uh, look out, Baroni. I'm going to let him have it. Don't shoot, you fool. Have the whole ship up here. Knock him cold with the butt of your gun there. Uh, I hope you cracked his skull for him. He almost strangled me when he took that radio message. Never away. mind that now. you got to get him all tied up. Yeah, I'll tie him up all right. Here, use this rope. And work fast. Uh, yeah. we got to get him hidden. Here in this closet before Jungle Jim misses him. All right, open the door. If we ought to gag him first. Yeah. That's right. Here, use this. Yeah, I'll tie yeah. him back. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good. Dump him in this clothes locker here. Yeah. He'll be quiet long enough for us to finish what we got to do. Yeah, it's a lucky thing you saw him, Meeker. Never mind that now. We got to work fast. Smithers is going to sink this boat. And if we're on it, you know the answer. You know what happens if Brant gets us. Yeah. And we know what happens if we get back. It means the courts, and it means the Admiralty Court. You're right. We're between three fires. And yeah, that's plenty warm enough for anybody, if you're asking me. There's only one way out for us. We got to pull out of here. In that motor dory? You're already in waiting for Jungle Jim. Like I said before, we'll beat him to it. But before we do, we've set fire to this tub. Hey, that's an idea, too. This wind will... Well, she'll, she'll burn like tinder. And even at that, we aren't going to take any chances. We're going to make sure that there isn't a single lifeboat left in good condition aboard the Manchu. Do you get me? I couldn't have thought of a better idea myself. When the Manchu goes down, there's no one left to talk. Now, Brant doesn't know that we know he tried to double-cross us. Because that we're the ones who scuttle a man to. That puts us in good with Mr. Brant. Boy, what a sweet setup. Now, we've each got a job to do. We've got to do it fast before Jungle Jim misses that Hindu of his. Now, where do we go from here? I'm going to stall the captain with a fake message. Tell him I intercepted it from Smithers. And uh, tell him that Smithers' fleet is on the way. What do you want me to do? Well, take care of those lifeboats. Fill them full of holes. And see that there are rifles and ammunition waiting on the dory for us. Okay. Hey, uh... Wait a minute, Matley. With this storm coming up, can we make shore in the dory? Sure we can. We're close enough right now to Borneo Costa to make it without any trouble. Now, uh, that is, if we hurry and get get away before the storm hits. Yeah, we'll hurry, all right. Now, you get down the hole, Mikus. Don't let anyone see you and start a fire going. Be sure it catches. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. Now, I'll see that the captain gets a fake message and that the dory's all set now. Now, get going, boys. Wait, no, no. Hmm? Give me a, a minute to... Get that message written to the captain. Oh, yeah. Uh, Smithers, calling ghost. Fleet all set to strike Manju. Following your orders. Repeat, Smithers. There, that'll give him something to think about and keep him from sticking his nose in our business. And with the Manju on fire... We won't have nothing to worry about. All right, boys, let's go. Yeah. In the hold of the Manchu, Mikus is preparing to follow out Matley's instructions. He has opened the porthole to ensure a draft, and now is ready to apply the match to a pile of crumpled papers. But what Meekers doesn't know is that Glover, previously inspected by the captain, is close behind him. Now Meekers strikes the match, touches it to the papers, and as he does so... Hey, you, what are you 
you doing there? Who's that? It's me, Glover. What are you up to, you dirty rat? Put that fire out of your gun, nuts. Don't try to stop me, Glover, or I'll blow the top of your head off. Why, you... I Wait. warned you... Now there, Mr. Jungle Jim, let's see how you're going to handle this. Back in Singapore, Harvey Brown and Shanghai Lil are seated on the rocks overlooking the tranquil Java Sea in deep conversation. Trouble is, Lil, I can't be sure of you. I have no way of knowing... Whether or not you're on the level. Haven't I proved myself, Harvey? Well, I... When all your efforts failed, it was I who discovered where Jungle Jim was hiding. It was I who found out that he was sitting on the Manchu. And it was I who thought up the idea of sending him the Cobra as a farewell present. That didn't work, though. No, that wasn't my fault. Incidentally, you muffed a couple of tries yourself. I won't muff this one. Smithers has his orders. By this time, the Manchu is probably at the bottom of the Java Sea. And Jungle Jim won't ever bother us again. Uh, I wish I could be sure of that. I suppose you actually have to see it before you believe it, huh? No, but I have a feeling. <laughs> a woman's intuition. Don't laugh at a woman's intuition, Harvey. Seriously, Lil. I've known a lot of women in my life, and I've been able to figure them out. But I don't mind telling you that I don't know any more about you than I did the first day I met you. <laughs> oh, I'd imagine that should make me a very interesting person. Why did you come in with me? Against Jungle Jim, I mean. Because I hate him. I detest him. I despise him. Do you really? What are you getting at? I'm wondering whether it isn't just because you're so, because... Harvey you... Brent, if you say it, I'll... Scientists tell us, you know, that hate and love are very closely related. Do you really think that? Have I given you any indication at all that I feel anything but an intense loathing for Jungle Jim Bradley? No. Wasn't I with you when you sent Smithers his orders to sink the Manchu? And didn't I know that that meant death for Jungle Jim? That's what I like about you, Lil. No cheap emotion. Lil. Yes, Harvey. I'm flying to Borneo tomorrow. Yes? Yeah. Look, will you come with me? I'd go any place in the world with you, Harvey. You hear that? Any place in the world. What is Shanghai Lil's plan now? Will the fire that Meeker started destroy the Manchu? Will Jungle Jim reach Kolu in time? And will Notley, Baroni, and Meeker succeed in making their getaway from the burning vessel? You'll learn the answers in next week's thrilling dramatization of the adventures of Jungle Jim. There are thrills and chills aplenty in store for you in the next episode of the adventures of Jungle Jim. <laughs> The Adventures of Jungle Jim are dramatized from the full-color action pictures to be found in the Comic Weekly, the big comic supplement distributed each week with your Hearst Sunday newspaper, the world's greatest array of humor and adventure, together with all the famous characters who live in the world of full-color action pictures, are to be found in the Comic Weekly. Follow the humorous adventures of Jigs and Maggie, of Barney Google, the Little King, Clips and Casper and Blondie, as well as the thrilling adventures of Flash Gordon and Jungle Jim. They're all waiting for you in your copy of next Sunday's Comic Weekly with your first newspaper. And remember, next week, at the same time, same station, the further thrilling radio adventures of Jungle Jim. Jungle <laughs> Jim.